Hello. Welcome to the late edition of Tip Tuesday. <laughs> um, this morning was so busy and so hectic. And as you know, um, because of social media, that I got to spend the day with WCHS's Megan Bashera. So that was really exciting. I got to meet up with an old client um, and we got to do a TV interview. So that was pretty cool. Hi, hun, I see your hearts. Hi, Susan, thanks for joining in. Um, so yes, it's been a crazy, crazy day. I've met with lots of clients. We did some showings, wrote some offers. It's been nuts. So I'm coming to you late tonight. Um, but I hope you guys will tune in at 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. tonight and watch me on WCHS. Um, I think Megan did a great job and I'm kind of really glad she brought up the topic of real estate and how things are being handled during COVID because, um, you know, it, it's just interesting the changes that we've all endured. Um, luckily, my brokerage itself, EXP Realty, did not have to go through a ton of changes as far as our office side went, we could still have all of our meetings and everything because we have a cloud-based office, um, which is incredible. We didn't have to work with Zoom and try to figure all that out. It was already built and done and we have avatars and it, it's cool. I think I've, you guys have seen a lot of that on my story and where I share our online campus. Um, so we didn't have to do a lot with that, but definitely showings have changed with gloves and masks and sanitizer and making sure we're respecting the seller and what they want for showings in their home. Um, and then just the inventory. The inventory has been so low lately that, you know, we've got people battling for homes and we're seeing in West Virginia, yes, West Virginia, high prices for homes and multiple offers and homes going for above asking. Um, and so, you know, those negative Nancy's out there, that's not what's going on in West Virginia right now in our real estate market. Interest rates are low. Um, I've been seeing 2.75% this week. That's great. I mean, fantastic. Um, potentially, you may even be able to go down to a 15 year instead of a 30. So you might even look into that option with your lender. Um, but anyways, speaking of COVID, I have Tom Pratt with us today. He is one of our newest agents to eXp Realty. Um, I'm blessed to be his mentor. And um, what I love is that he took the risk, the dive into the real estate world during COVID. He got licensed while all this madness was going on. So I'm gonna bring Tom on and we're gonna talk to him and learn more about him and how he is doing it in COVID market because he's already sold a house. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for having me on tonight. When I signed up for her, with her as my mentor, I didn't know she was gonna be a celebrity. Oh, right, So, yeah. you know, this, all these news shows and no, it's been, it's been great. So happy to be here. Well, um, I'm going to put the camera over to you because this is going to be a little bit narrow for us. Yeah. Um, so if you don't mind, share with the audience who you are and why maybe you became a realtor. Sure. That? Um, well, you know, I've lived here in Scott Depot now for about 13 and a half years. My wife, Melissa, and I moved here from the Cincinnati area to pastor the Taze Valley Church of God. And uh, we, we've been here and, and just fell in love with the community. I've raised our two children here. We have a high school senior that graduated in COVID-style graduation from Winfield High this year and a daughter who's going to be a junior at Ohio Christian University. And so um, I, I, I chose real estate really because I've always loved the real estate world. And I'm one of those guys who has watched, you know, all the TV shows and and followed, you know, people who were who were spying and selling homes. And when we moved here, enjoyed that process. And when we've hired staff and brought them in, I've enjoyed taking them around and helping them find houses. And so, as you mentioned, Kim, during COVID, we had a little bit more downtime in some ways because I wasn't able to travel as my job normally allows me to do in the church. Um, so I decided, you know, I'm home and I'm able to do everything that I do for the church at home. And so I have some free time. So I'm going to start the classes that I've always wanted to take. And I uh, was able to knock them out in about eight and a half weeks, which was, which was crazy fast because it's a lot of information. But uh, a lot I've had a lot of fun, yeah. you know, learning and trying to figure it all out. So yeah, and where did you take your classes? Uh, Spruce School Real Estate. Really enjoyed That's it. That's where I went. Yeah, Billy was a lot of fun. For those of you who uh, who have met him or take some of those classes, it was it was a good time. So well, um, you know, as you decided on where you were going to hang your hat. 
and um, where you wanted to ultimately be long term. How did you kind of, you know, what did you do? Did you visit brokerages? Did you call brokers? How did you decide where you wanted to end up? Yeah, I did. I, most of them were either a Zoom meeting or a call because we were in the height of the COVID time when I when I tested and I was beginning to start to test. And um, so, yeah, I, I probably met with seven other brokerages trying to figure out the best fit. Um, there are a lot of great real estate folks in our area, a lot of great companies. And I wanted to make sure that wherever I ended up fit my personality and fit who I am and fit my values. And uh, when I met the folks from EXP, um, that all just lined up perfectly for me. There's a lot of reasons behind that that we can talk about as well. But uh, yeah, yeah I, it was interesting to me. Um, the private big thing for me with, with the EXP but between Kim and, and our broker, Lori, and just other folks with EXP that I was talking to and meeting even around the country, there was such an interest in, in me as a person and in, in why I wanted to do real estate and what my goals were. Um, and that wasn't always the case with other folks I talked to. There were other folks that it kind of felt like, you know, just um, maybe a little bit of a sales pitch or something. I don't know, not to put them down. They're, they're great folks, but just didn't feel that connection. Like my goals and desires were really primary for them. And EXP is so agent centered that I felt like even even in the onboarding process, it was all about me and, and what my goals were and how they could help me to accomplish those. So, Yeah, actually, that's part of our mentor program, too, yeah. as well, is like um, we have a goal sheet and, mm -hmm. and trying to help you to obtain that. And that's part of what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, but yes, I, I found like a lot of people in real estate, as far as when you kind of are talking with brokerages, they can tend to be a bit on the salesy side and, and you want to find a good fit for you. So if you find that real estate might be, you know, something that could be in your future and you are looking to become a realtor, I encourage you to talk to everybody. Um, and, you know, really, really find that good fit for you, but also find out who cares about what you want and where you're going yeah. and all of that, because it's so key. You need to have somebody that's going to help lift you and, um, take you to where you ultimately want to be. And, um, you know, I'm so thankful that I found my home here at EXP and as a realtor here, we are our shareholders. Um, mm -hmm. so that's been exciting because if you've seen the stock market yeah. lately, um, EXPI is like hanging, I didn't even look at it today, I haven't had time, but it was around 17 bucks yesterday, um, heading towards 18. Um, and so that's been exciting because we all own shares. Um, we have milestones that we can hit mm -hmm. um, to get shares from the company just given to us, but then we also can enroll in a program where we can buy in. So there's 5% of our paycheck can go to buying EXP stock at a discounted rate. So. That's really exciting um, about our company and uh, we are owners. So that's pretty yeah. cool too. Um, so as far as EXP, what was your favorite part about EXP? What made you say, okay, that's it. Yeah. That's me. Well, you know, I, you mentioned the agent centered. It really does feel that way. It feels like they're trying to make the best environment for, for us as o agent owners. Um, you mentioned the stock programs and the, um, there, there are programs called revenue sharing that can, you can actually build into some retirement income. You can have multiple streams of income with them. Uh, those were all important to me. Our, you know, on a ministry level, we do ministry regionally, and statewide, and nationally as well um, with our organization. And so having contacts around the country, the EXP model allows me to do a lot more collaborative kind of work with referrals with other EXP agents all around the country. And really now starting to be around the world. So that was real appealing to me. But I think the multiple streams of income, um, the, you know, the agency splits um, seem to be much more fair to me for what you get. And the training, to be honest, I'm, I'm a self-motivated kind of trainer. So I like to watch videos and I like to be, be able to, to get training when I want it. And um, it, they have, I think it's 80 hours now a week of live video training, training on yeah. EXP World. And so being able to take care, advantage of those. And if I have an issue or I'm learning something new, I can go on and almost always find a video that covers that and that helps me to, to figure that out. So and you don't have to go to a classroom. I don't have to go to a classroom. <laughs> I can do, do it right dumbest. at home and yeah, fit it in when I have time. So. 
Um, and going kind of along the lines of all of that, um, I know one of the things that excited me of, about the financial side of things, the rev share and the stocks and things like that being willable to family yeah, members. Yeah. So, you know, we, uh, in our real estate industry, we are straight commission. And so, you know, God forbid something happens to us, that income's gone from our family. So um, this gave us the potential to be able to have a stream of income. So when COVID hit, I still had my revenue share coming in, even when I wasn't able to sell houses mm -hmm. those first several weeks. Um, so that was huge. And, you know, I, I'm just, I'm really, really proud of you because I mm -hmm. think like, it's been amazing to see that you came on so strong. You jumped in, got your first listing, like I don't, the very first week you were licensed. Yeah. And then ended up getting both sides of the deal, you guys. <laughs> so he's on the buy side and the sell side. So not only is he, you know, financially able to start taking care of his family and contributing from the real estate side, but he's also helping families. And yeah. so the coolest part about this is like him from coming from the, the uh, ministry side and then, you know, bringing that into the real estate world. Um, he's finding out real quick. It's very, very rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's an amazing um, experience and, and gift to yeah. uh, have the job that we do and be able to do what we love, make money, but at the same mm -hmm. time be helping so many people. Yeah, the helping side of it was so appealing to me, you know, um, just being able to, to see people, whether they're trying to sell a house that they need to for whatever reason, or they're trying to buy a first home or, a, you know, another home, um, just being able to be a part of that. That's really what the, the business is about for me is building relationships and connecting people Absolutely. Um, yes. in community and connecting people um, to, to their new home. And, you know, so there, there are a lot of positives with that for me, for sure. So. Well, um, what do you feel like you're going to contribute to the real estate world since we are talking about long-term yeah. goals? Yeah, I think for me, I, I hope to be able to contribute um, just a caring, uh, connecting kind of relationship building um, process, really. Because for me, you know, and, and again, there are a lot of great agents that do pieces of that or do all of that. But for me, it's about helping people understand the greatness of this area, the whole West Virginia area. We moved here 13 years ago. And just fell in love with the people and the climate and the environment. Um, and, and so being able to contribute to Putnam County and the surrounding areas as well is really important to us and being able to connect to people. And really to be able to have an opportunity to, to continue to do ministry. I've already been able to pray with you know um, some folks that we were looking for houses. I pray for all of my listing appointments and, and, and uh, buyer appointments because I want people to find the perfect house and I want you know them to have you know, a faith aspect be a part of that so I pray um, whether they're there or not but for some of them I've actually gotten to pray and one, of, one in particular is dealing with some medical stuff and was able to actually do some ministry there and so it really combines both of my worlds and yeah. uh, and, and that's important to me because that's who I am and um, not that I want to push that on anybody but just if somebody's struggling um, you know it's, it's nice just to be able to say can I pray for you and and offer that. I actually had a, there was a, um, a listing agent on a property that I was showing that when I called, shared some of her story and journey with me about some health concerns that she was dealing with with a family member. And we were able to actually have prayer on the phone and I'd never met her. She's listing a house that I'm trying to have a buyer, you know, in, get interested in. And yet I got to do ministry at the same time. So for me, it's just a win-win. That's what I hope to keep doing. Yeah, and actually, you know, now that you mentioned that um, today specifically, you know, one of the buyers that actually we got our contract on uh, a house today, um, she was looking for a home specifically because her husband is now bedridden. Mm. And so we were trying to look for the right amount of space for their bedroom wise to have the mm. hospital bed and all of that. So, um, you know, and that's what I mean, the crossover of the feeling that we're really truly helping people. Yeah. It's not just about the financial side of things. Um, we're able to do something that we're very passionate about. And, and when you have people like you and me who love to be around people and, ha and build those relationships, um, this is just a phenomenal profession. Mm -hmm. So if this is something that you guys have thought about at all, um, feel free to reach out to myself or to Tom. We would love to talk with you about it. Um, I, you know, I feel like I, I'm blessed to have it now, but I feel like I found it late, even mm -hmm. though, you know, I, I wish I found it sooner. 
I actually kind of knew I wanted to be a realtor, but we were in um, a different type of business at the time when I felt like I couldn't leave because that meant that we had to find another way to mm. uh, pay somebody else to be in my shoes at the right. time. Yeah. And so I couldn't leave when I wanted to. Um, but I'm grateful for this time now. This is my 11th year here in August um, and your first year. So I'm really excited <laughs> to have you as part of our team. And uh, hey, is there anything that you'd like to share? How about your contact information so people can find you? Yeah, um, you can find me through my, my personal website, which is tompratt.com. Or um, I have an EXP website as well. And email thomas.pratt at exprealty.com is my uh, email. And the uh, website for that is just Thomas Pratt. Dot exp dot exp. Dot com. Yeah. Uh, it's so close, but uh, yeah, so I'd love to talk to you. My cell phone's the easiest way to get a hold of me, and that's 304 415 6198. And uh, I'm available by text and on Facebook. If we're not Facebook friends, we'd love to, to get to know you there and have you follow me. There's a Tom Pratt real estate salesperson page on Facebook that would love to have you follow that as well. So, all right, thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. You guys, I hope you guys are all staying safe and um, I, you know, have thankfully have had a, just a really great day. I promised my Zara that we're going to play some Uno, so <laughs> I owe her. Um, so I'm going to get to that, but you guys all have a fantastic night. If you're curious about Real Estate Wednesdays and Sundays, we have a Zoom um, call that I can put you on and you can learn more about our company. And you can do it in a very confidential way um, so you don't have to you know be out in the open that you're looking or you're joining the real estate world or whatever you can check it out and do it without a bunch of eyes on you um, and you can learn about us so reach out i'll be happy to share the link it's on wednesdays and sundays at 9 p.m uh, actually we i think we're doing one thursdays too now um, at 8 p.m so just reach out to me and i'll be happy to set you up you guys all have a great night. Uh, let's see, we're about two hours away. Tune in, 10 and 11 tonight. See you guys.